Coming to you live from the Crucible. This is Optimal Play. I'm Brandon. I'm Butner. And Butner, they found it. Oh, what'd that, they find? The algorithm. Oh! <laughs> yes! It wasn't Fantasy Flight that found it. Oh. Uh, Ghost, Ghost Galaxy Games? Hell yeah. Triple G? They're, uh, they're putting out more Keyforge stuff. Oh, that's what these are. Yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got decks right here, because I, I backed them on GameFound. This is, this is not a promotion or advertisement for GameFound. That was a year ago. Uh, but... Too late. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I assume there will be other ways to acquire this. Haven't looked into it. We have hot new decks from the Winds of Exchange set Ooh. that uh, they built with that algorithm, ah. presumably. Welcome back, algorithm. I know, right? Yes. Yeah. I've... I don't, I don't have enough algorithms in my life. I'm so glad this one's back. Oh, yeah. yeah no, they don't track us or anything. It's great to see one. Good. Um, yeah, so, so we're going we're gonna to play some Keyforge. I, oh, yeah. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to brag for a second. And actually, well, I'll ask you the name of your deck, too. I, actually, I legitimately don't know what it is. But mine is Brandon, the quote-unquote trainer of speeches. Ooh. And that's because, as a backer, I got a deck with my name in it. Whoa, what <laughs> tier did this guy back out to get such a hot card? That's cool. I don't remember how much money I spent. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't really care to look it up. <laughs> well, whatever it was, it was worth it. I, I'd say so, because this deck has my name printed on it. It's not very often that you see your name printed. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's got the, um, shoot, it's been a little while since I played Keyforge. Where's the reminder of what these houses are called? I have the Saurians, the Sanctum, which is the only house in my deck that was like one of the OG Keyforge houses, mm. and the Star Alliance, which is like Star Trek, the Keyforge faction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, Tell what's what's your deck called and who's in it? Well, mine is called Fruit Pick, the Intimidator <laughs> of Telepathy. Fruit Pick. Fruit Pick. The Intimidator of Telepathy. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a it's a lot of it's words you don't normally see together put together. So I like it. You uh, can't you can't possibly get a, a name better than Brandon, but Fruit Pick. <laughs> fruit is, Pick might be it. Is up there. Uh, <laughs> fruit Pick, the Intimidator of Telepathy, is comprised of the Sorians, like you. Okay, so it's a mirror match. Yeah. Uh, Brobnar, which I believe was also an OG. It was, yeah. And then the Unfathomable. Yes, yes, the stars of the Arkham remake of Battlestar Galactica have come to Keyforge at last. Here they are. <laughs> and uh, I'm excited. Um, okay, we need to decide who's going first. You go first. I don't, okay, decided. That was so easy. That was easy. I was going to flip a key or something as a coin, but, but no. you... Yeah, you beat me to it. Decisive action. All right. Uh, hand of six cards. I, uh, If people have been watching the live stream, they may have seen it, me refreshing you on how to play Keyforge. Right. You're, you're maybe a little rusty, yeah. and to be honest, I am too. Been a minute. Uh, so, so we will... Uh, if, you're, if you're here for expert Keyforge plays, you've come to the wrong place. Wrong channel. <laughs> Despite the name of this channel, we are seldom the experts. Um, that said, I am going to play perfectly and defeat you this uh have I you have you even uh have you looked through your deck no gosh no okay like this uh because i have my name on it like when when this came last week i oh, looked sure. at it and sure, and sure, so sure. so i have not played with this deck yet but i'm at least like familiar with what you look at every card and went, mm, brandon yeah mm, brandon yeah. yeah my name's on every single one of these how cool is that <laughs> pretty yep. good pretty good so going first i name a house as usual but i only play one card from it and that will be my entire turn. The first turn is the slowest, Ooh. or is the weakest. Okay. Um, but it's going to be a pretty good first turn, I feel like, because I'm going to play as the Saurians and drop the Legionary Trainer. It'll interplay Exhausted, but it's two power. It says, uh, each friendly token creature enters play ready. And when I play it, make a token creature. So let me introduce you to my token creature, the Bellatorian Warrior, oh, which is guy. insanely good. I have a bad card in my deck called Training Costs that, that is pure downside that my understanding is that is the, that is the, the make good, the trade-off for me having such a good token. So here's my question uh, on that card real mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah. Couldn't you just opt not to play it? Uh, you can opt not to play it, but it would sit in your hand forever because the card says you cannot choose to discard it. 
I did not know that part. Yeah. Because I was going to say, then why not just make a blank card? That's why. It would be like having a permanent chain if you didn't play it. And what it does when you do play it is you lose two ember. Okay. Yeah, so it's... Uh, wow. Yeah. And okay. it's like, it's you lose two ember if you didn't shuffle this back in your deck. Meaning uh, you, can't, you, can't you can't even get around it by playing uh, it when yeah. you don't have to. Play yeah. early. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so this 5-2 uh, dinosaur is what my tokens are. And then when they're actually in my row here, they're represented by face down cards. Okay. So here, I'll put this over by my keys. And that's my turn. I'm just going to refill to six cards and you are up. All right. Um, what does exalt mean? Oh, I'm glad you asked because I don't particularly remember. But good news, wait, it's is it? It's on the back of the token. That's like, where are the keyword keyword references? I know that my reference card has it. Oh, here it is. Too. Want to read it to us? Yeah. Exalt means when an effect instructs you to exalt a creature, place one ember from the common supply on that creature. So does that mean you get it it's, when it dies or your opponent gets it? Your opponent gets it when it dies. So That's it's risky It's a very double-edged mechanic. Yeah. That's, does that work, double-edged mechanic? I feel like you need to say sword to complete that metaphor, that turn Double-edged sword mechanic sounds so long-winded, though. Exactly. So anyway, it's a double-edged mechanic. Double-edged mechanic. Where generally then you're, you probably have cards that are like, your exalted creatures are super cool now, sure. but you are potentially serving me ember. Okay. Uh, along the way. Okay. Um, all right, I got some... You got some? I got some. Oh, and I'm sorry, this, uh, my creature should be exhausted. You ready them at the start of your turn, I believe. Okay. All right, so I'm going to declare faction Sorion, which I believe you did. Uh, well. yes. Wow, just, so I, just I copying like, me. Well, I like what you did with it. Okay. And I'm gonna do some stuff too. So, uh, I'm going to first play Faust the Great. He is a four power mm. dinosaur. Says your opponent's keys cost plus one ember for each friendly creature with ember on it. So I'm guessing that means friendly meaning me. So any creatures I have with ember, that's how much more you've got to pay for your keys. Yes. Great. That is, that, that, that squares with my understanding. Good, good, good. Uh, and you, from, from one of your enhancements, you get an ember when you play that. Hot diggity dog. Enjoy. You've taken the lead. I'm almost there. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, the next thing I shall do... Mm-hmm. Uh, this says, by the way, you may exalt a friendly creature. Do you want to? Could exalt, exalt Faust? I could exalt himself. I um, think so. Yeah, he's a friendly creature. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Nice try, though. It would make my keys cost one more. He wants the ember. I know your tricks. I do want the ember. Uh, and I can play... Oh, man, this is a good card. Fart knocker, man. Yeah, it's funny how some of these cards you don't want to play right at the outset. It's like, oh, you might want to save. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm okay. Play, I'm going to play Praetor Marius. You guys exhausted? Yep. He says, after Reap, for each exhausted creature to Praetor Marius' left, capture one Ember. I'm guessing capture means I steal it from you. Yes. You steal it from me, but you put it on your creature, meaning if I destroy it, I get it back. Oh. Yeah. How would I ever get that Ember? I would not. Uh, there are card effects that do things. In fact, I think that the, the Saurians do stuff like this because it also goes well with exalting. That's Got like, it. you may... You may take one ember from each of your creatures and put it into your got it. your uh, whatever it calls the place where you keep your ember. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Pocket. Okay. okay. Um, th when it says when you use a creature, is that the like I'm going to uh, fight or fight or reap with yep. it? That's okay. So, or some of them have uh, like action colon and some other ability, which also means exhausts them to do that thing specifically instead of fight or reap. And I think that's also a use. Uh, so then I will play my last card here. It is sim sim Symposium. It's an Whoa. action. Sure is. What does that do? When I play it, I exalt, ready, and use a friendly creature. If it's a token creature, I may mm -hmm. exalt, ready, and use another friendly creature. So, oh. 
I'm going to exalt Praetor Marius. Okay. I'm going to ready. Yep. And then I'm going to use him to reap. No. Are you asking? No, no, no. Because I can attack. So I'm going to use him to attack your legendary Ooh. trainer. Legionary. He's not legendary. Legionary. Brutal. That's not cool. Um, okay, and then it takes two damage. So that's right. I disagree. I thought it was really cool. It was kind of cool. I was kick ass. <laughs> All right. Well, keep patting yourself on the back. <laughs> Uh, and then I think that will be all she wrote. Okay, you can fill up your hand to six. And this goes, I make a discard pile like yeah. this, right? And then fill up to six. One, two, and three. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to do Saurian again. Right? Um, As a reminder, you did that last time. I did. And I'm going to do so, it again. You would, you, so you do it yeah. again. And my token is Saurian. So to use my tokens, I have to name Saurian. In theory, I might be using Saurian. A lot of Saurians. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sorry about it. See what I did there? That was pretty good. Unfortunately. Huh? Yeah. I did. Uh, my token, my Bellatorian warrior here, is going to reap. Woo! Tied up. One to one. And Woo! then check this out. Checking. Uh, there's been a regrettable meteor. <laughs> Oh no, a uh, perfect I, dinosaur card. I get an ember for playing it, okay. and then it says destroy each dinosaur creature and each creature with power of six or higher. Um, everything in play is a dinosaur, so I'm, no. I'm, wiping, I'm wiping the board here. I'll take that ember from no. your you, exalted creature. You planned this! I did. Ah, oh, I feel so used. And then, now the meteor is done and it's safe for dinosaurs, I'm going to play my own Faust of the Great. Mm. And uh, he'll enter play exhausted, but I can exalt him? I also think I won't. Because you only have one ember, so raising the cost for you to forge keys is like not terribly exciting right now. Yeah. I think that is going to end my turn. I'll draw two cards. Oh, this is such a bummer to hear. All right. Actually, I think you, boy, yeah, you can tell I'm, you can tell we're rusty. Sorry, YouTube commenters, sorry. Um, Calm I think down. You, I think you ready this at the end of your turn, because that lets you play effects that would exhaust my creatures uh, and have that matter. Okay. Okay. As opposed to readying at the beginning of your turn, which Com is what the magic player in me wants to do, right? The commenters can calm down. <laughs> they can just take a breath. They never do. Yeah, that's true. All right. Bring it. What house? Oh, some of these cards are really good. I just need to meet the requirements, but I'm, I can't do it yet. No? Uh, I think... No, oh, jeez. What does... I guess I can look it up on here. What these terms mean. No, not there. Skirmish. Skirmish means that when it attacks, it does not take damage back. Oh. Yeah. That's cool. No. Um, and elusive means elusive means that the first time it gets attacked in a turn it d takes no damage is that right each turn so it's like a replenishing divine shield um kind of but specifically for being attacked not for like it action not for like action cards that would do damage to it or it. or anything like that got it, got yeah it. i see i see Okay. Um, and and the, and then the last distinction also is it says no damage is dealt in the fight, so it also doesn't deal its damage back the first time that it's attacked. Okay. Um, this is so crappy. I will name unfathomable. Oh, I'm excited to see some. Yeah, I'm, it's not that great. It, y Yanti Ghost Finn. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's elusive. Uh, after reap. I can purge a creature from my discard pile. If I do, I can make a token creature. That's actually not... Oh, yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, and then with my... And I'm going to discard this card that I had also from Unfathomable Faction, right? Yep. Okay. And then I can't discard any others because they're not from Unfathomable, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm stuck with these. Okay. Okay. So that will be it. And I will draw two cards. And he comes back. All right. I am going to go with the 
Star Alliance. And... Right? Why couldn't you have played more creatures for me to destroy? Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. No, I'm going to keep things simple right now. And I'm going to go with Saurians yet again. I mean, you have one speed. I do, and this is it. Uh, it, it is the speed that destroys your shit. Oh. Uh, I'm going to play Beware the Ides. Uh, I get an Ember. And then this says... 23. Deal 23 damage to a creature in the center of its controller's battle line. Yeah. Sorry, Anthe. Sorry, Anthe. And, uh... Didn't quite matter. Unfortunately, that extra 20 damage serves no benefit, but... Ha ha. Uh, and I will just, uh, reap with Faust the Great, who doesn't do anything special when he reaps. And then I have five Ember over to you. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm liking here. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to declare unfathomable. Again? Again. And then I'm going to need to know... So the chains are coming into effect. Chains are good or bad? bad. I, don't want, I don't want chains. You don't want chains. You'll draw fewer cards on your future turns. Oh. However many chains you get, that many future turns you'll draw five cards instead of six. Or you'll fill up your hand to five instead of six. Yeah. Well, that's awful. Because it's probably a good, or at least powerful card. I did get excited. Well, play it. No. <laughs> not going to be worth it. All that. right. So, I will... Man, this is so... I am... I am my hand is clogged. I'm going to declare... Uh, I'm going to de declare Sorion. Okay. And then I'm going to discard them. Oh no, really? It's, it's that dire right now. That is pretty dire. And um, I can see that you discarded an event that has Ember on it. If, it, if it's text like doesn't do anything, or sorry, an action that, that has Ember on it, if it's text like, would, would uh, fizzle, for example, you can still play it to get that Ember if you want. I'd love to do that. Okay. This one is play for the reign of my turn. After I use a dinosaur creature, I can deal one damage to each non-dinosaur creature. Legion's March. You keep playing yeah. dinosaur creatures, by the way. I do. Yeah. Uh, and then this one is has to do with I can choose what's, one of what's these. What's the name of that? Ankylo formation. Okay. Like an ankylosaurus. Sure. Yeah. For the remainder of the turn, a friendly creature gains skirmish, or I can exalt a friendly creature for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature gains skirmish. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't do anything, but you can play it for its ember. So here's here's your two ember. All about it. Enjoy. Thank you. I'll try not to steal it too soon. That's why you wanted me to have it, because we could steal it. No, no. You're right, you wouldn't do that. I wouldn't. Uh, okay, I'm going to... Hmm, I guess I'm going to keep playing Saurian, because that's what I have a bunch... Or that's what I have creatures of, and... My other houses kind of want you to have things in play for me to interact with. You should consider playing creatures. I can tell you, assuredly, I'd love to have those <laughs> uh, I'm going to play the action Arm the Plebeians. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's get some plebs in here. Yeah. Uh, make a token creature, ward it. Oh. So I'm making a Bellatoran warrior and warding it. Oh. And this action has an ember on it. And then I will just reap with Faust... I'm at seven, so check. Beginning this, of your turn. This borrows this borrows the chess terminology. You are supposed to say check when you would forge a key at the start of your next turn. Oh, interesting. Yep. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to fill my hand to six in your turn. Great. All right. Um, are there a way to lower your chains, or once you get them chains? Uh, at every turn, you draw one fewer card and then lose a chain. Oh, yeah. so it isn't like a permanent. No. Okay. So two chains doesn't mean draw two fewer cards. It means draw one fewer card for two turns. I see. Yeah. I see. I see. Okay. I guess I'm just going to have to do it. Just going to have to bite the old bullet -o. Uh I'm mm. going to declare unfathomable. Okay. Yet again. Yet again. And I'm going to play catch and release. 
Oh, I should, uh, I just checked the ward definition. It mm. does prevent it from being destroyed also. That's okay. Not just damage, just before you. I'm gonna circumvent that right here. Bring it on. Catch and release. You're not gonna like this. I'm excited to not like something you're doing, because so far I've liked it all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, return each creature to its owner's hand. Oof. Each player discards random cards from their hand until they have six or fewer cards in hand. Gain two chains. That's terrible for me. Yeah, it's not great for you. Yeah. Uh, but I am reading this as also I can more or less replenish my hand. Actually, let me let me pause on that then. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play this first. <laughs> what is that? Befuddle. Okay. Choose a house on your opponent's identity card. During their next turn, they cannot play cards of that of other houses. Of other houses? Oh, yeah. so I have to play that house. Yeah. Okay. So I really feel you have neglected the uh, Spectrum. Sanctum? Sanctum. <laughs> You've really been sleeping on Sanctum, so I'm going to declare Sanctum. Wow, okay. I'm going to put a token on here as a reminder that I must take Sanctum on my turn. Or at least I don't have to name it, but I could only play cards from it, so probably... Is it, sorry, let's let's back up. It's yeah. play cards? Yes, it's during your next okay. turn. You cannot play cards of other houses. So if I name Sorry and I could still like reap with my creatures because that's not playing cards. Uh, that would seem right. Okay. The way it says play cards would seem right. You okay. could name the house, but you couldn't play cards from it, but you could still do your shit. Good to know. Good to know. We'll, we'll keep, I would, we'll I keep would, our options I open. would buy that interpretation. Though someone in the comments might be having a stroke right now of rage. Because we may have misinterpreted that. That's, or that's my favorite have, kind of stroke to have. Rage in the comments. Stroke. Yeah. Happens a lot on YouTube. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, and then it had an ember on it. Sure did. Congrats. Thanks. Check. No. No. <laughs> Thought I'd try. Uh, and then we'll do the catch and release. All right. So return each creature to its owner's hand. So I. So. <laughs> We were, it was it was before we started the video, but I was complaining about how there was no insert or anything that like thoroughly explained yep. how tokens work. Right. I assume that a token that would be returned to my the hand ceases, ceases to exist. The Hearthstone rule. That, that, that's how I would think it is. Well, Hearthstone, it would go to your hand. Tokens go to your hand. I thought in magic, magic, in magic, anything sorry, that leaves play ceases to magic. exist. Magic. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Magic. Yeah, but because, I mean, I guess the other, th since they are face down cards in your deck, I guess in theory, the, what could happen is they return to your hand and then they are just they that card. That card. <laughs> That would be interesting. Well, let us know in the comments if we're... Rage stroke in the comments yeah. if we've done that wrong. <laughs> but I'm guessing it ceases to exist. And then now that I returned one card to my hand, I uh, have to discard randomly down to six? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Or fewer. So... I think I'll stop at six. Well, so that's fair, but I'm using this opportunity to get rid of some cards that I don't want. Wait... Each player discards random cards from their hand until they have six or fewer. So, you, oh, so you think you can opt to randomly discard until you're happy with? Well, the state I was of gonna random. like if I wanted to That's... randomly discard four cards, I would get rid of these and then I could drop six new cards. I, I guess this will, well, I think that this is. I think that once you have six or fewer, you have to stop. I think that's what this is. Oh, you think? I think so. Oh, I thought it was saying like you can discard down to six or fewer. I think it's. Okay, we'll discard go. random cards from your hand until you have six or fewer. Not, not you can go to whatever number you want as long as it's six or less. Why would it say or fewer? Because of right now, if it just said six, then you would have to discard your hand because and discard infinitely since you'll never uh -oh. get to six by okay. discarding. I suppose that's right. Yeah, I read it more as uh, opportunistic. Uh, but that that's does. very creative. I applaud your creativity. <laughs> Thank you. I was really trying to get some, I doubt that that's some stuff in my hand. I, I doubt that that's the idea here. That said, here, pull my random discard. Uh, just, just the one, please. Really hate this card. Yeah? You hate Qu Quintrino Warp? Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right, too. Yeah. Hate it. Uh, and um, then I gain the wrapper. Yeah. Two chains. Two chains. <laughs> All right. Congrats. I'm not pumped on it. So when your turn is over, you'll fill up your hand to just five cards, and then you'll lose one of those chains. Oh, it's not to it doesn't four and then five and then six. Got it. Yeah, I yeah, see. Just, I see. Just, the just chain me. is the turn length you're penalized one card. Yeah, with uh, with the extra wrinkle of if you are above 
six chains once you're at seven it and you're two. drawing two fewer now i understand and so what on. Is. i don't think that uh and i know like i've played i don't know 20 30 games of key it's like a good handful but not mm -hmm. uh it's not my lifestyle game mm -hmm. um but uh as you can probably tell from the rules that i don't understand here <laughs> anyway i don't think i've ever seen someone get to the minus two <laughs> part of this ever no so punch themselves no. in the face enough no no okay uh so, so then i draw Uno it, Cardo. Yeah, if you're if you're done doing other things. I am. And we'll take you down to one chain, and then I'm gonna have a pretty awesome turn. I think I will go with Sanctum. On account of that's the only one I'm allowed to play cards from. I think you should. So Sanctum, I have some cards to play. Like Chowl the Safeguard. This has deploy, I can go anywhere in my battle line, doesn't matter because it's the only one. And it has taunt, so its neighbors can't be attacked. Also doesn't matter because it's the only creature. So that's cool. And I'll just go ahead and play the artifact Hadroth's Wall. It just has the passive effect, each friendly flank creature gets plus two power. So that's the creatures on either side, either edge of my battle line. So the yep. taunt still count if you added a creature to the left and right later? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I believe this does not, sadly, each friendly flank creature, so this is getting plus two power from the artifact, but it's not getting plus two power twice. It's either a flank creature or it's not, even though it's on the left and right. Oh, I anyway, this is a question I asked myself in my head immediately answered, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then decided you needed it's a left, to explain. It's a left and right flank, <laughs> yeah. because it's a center. But it's still just a flank creature one time. I see. Uh, that said, I will fill up my hand, and it's your turn. Okay. Okay. And that's just an item, that's just an artifact that just chills. Just a passive, uh, passive effect forever, yeah. Alright, I'm going to... Uh, oh, you did not create your, your key. Oh, I forgot it. Yes, thank you. I had to had to spend six. So as we all know, all the ember goes to me. Not the rule. That's not the rule. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Worth a shot. But I have a key. I'm in the lead. Yeah, you're you're winning. For now, because <gasps> I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm declaring. You're declaring. You're declaring. Rob Brobnar. Brobnar. I forgot Brobnar was in your deck. <laughs> yeah, Brobnar is my deck. Also a name I'm called sometimes when people look at my license and they go, Brobnar? No, it's Butner. <laughs> that was close. Uh, that's never happened. Bumpsy. Oh, sure. Yeah. I love Bumpsy. Do you, know, you remember Bumpsy? No. I don't uh, know. What's Bumpsy do? He's a giant. Five power. Mm -hmm. And when I play, my opponent loses one ember. That sucks. Yeah. I'm down to zero. That's Bumpsy for you. Yeah. Classic Bumpsy. <laughs> Classic Bumpsy. Uh, and then I'm gonna play a Ragnarok Prep. Oh, it says to make a token creature. Okay, what's your token creature? We haven't talked about that. We have we haven't. My token creature is a one energy, one power scholar. Mm. It says after reap, draw one card. Exciting. Pretty cool. Yeah. So he comes in like this. Actually, Bumpsy is exhausted Bumpsy too. too. Yeah, yeah. Um, what else is the text on there? Oh, sorry. Yes, thank you. And then it says, then, if you control more creatures than your opponent, your opponent loses two ember. Oh. Where was this last Th turn? Thankfully. <laughs> Where was this last turn when I needed it? Thankfully, I don't have to worry about that. Okay. So we're going to pry the ember off your forged key. Okay, fine. We doesn't, doesn't work that way. I forged it real good. Let's do that. Uh, I went to forge in school. So that's my turn. Not. Whoa. We're gonna play Blood of Titans. Yikes. This creature gets plus five power. Oh, you've upgraded Bumpsy? Bumpsy is now super Bumpsy. And you got an Ember when you did it. Yes. Did I get that for no? Uh yeah. And then that will be my turn. Not! I'm gonna play Smith. <laughs> I okay. Get, I get an Ember. And, and you, I get to draw a card. Oh, you draw a card, yeah, that's enhanced. And then. Uh, it says play gain two ember if you control more creatures than your opponent. And I do. Wow. You're stacked. And that's my turn. That is Say my check. Turn. That, is, that is my turn. Oh, check. All right. Make it? No. <laughs> uh, and then I lower the... Oh yeah, fill your hand to five, and then that's your last chain, so we can get that out of the way. Sweet. Okay. 
Okay, uh, the Blood of Titans, making Bumpsy a 10 power, that's a problem. I don't like it. I'm going to... Uh, hmm. All right. I will. Oh, oh, wait, can I? Damn, I have another Faust of the Great in my hand. Oh, wait, it's not another one. You returned it to my hand. And I was like, is there any way I can exalt enough creatures to actually make you not able to forge a key? Or at least, well, kind of. Now, hold on. Well, these are crazy ideas you're saying. Okay, okay, I'm gonna go Saurian. Um, I'm gonna play Faust the Great. My opponent's keys cost one more for each friendly creature with Ember on it. Uh, you can exalt a friendly creature. I'll exalt it. This is also protected by Taunt, so that's fun. Uh, oh, but it is coming into play exhausted. And then I have Symposium. An action that when you play, you exalt ready and use a friendly creature. If it's a token creature, you may exalt ready and use another friendly creature. Sadly, I don't have a token. But I can, and this this lets you break the house, like, I, I can use a creature that's not in my house because this is saying use a creature, not use one in your house. So oh. I'm going to use Chala Safeguard. Oh, no. I'm going to, ready it doesn't matter, but exalt it and then use it. Uh, and I will use it to I'm just gonna kill your token I'll attack it for four and it's your tokens one power will bounce off of its armor oh so, that seems good um, that's all that I think I, I put that on the bottom of my deck the the face down card that's that's what I did with it the we, face down card the, the, what the card that just was oh, the token. Oh, 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 that's oh. what I did with it I actually don't I don't know for sure that I did that right Again, I'll do it as well. There were no token rules included in this product. <laughs> so sue us. <laughs> uh, we'll have to. If we're gonna play another game, we'll have to. We'll have to check some of these questions that have been coming up as we play. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay, so that's that's it for my turn. Um, but what's cool here is that once I end my turn and fill up my hand, uh, now you have eight. The cost to forge keys for you is eight because of Faust and my two creatures. So you just have to spend all eight to forge key. I'm at nine. Nope, what's eight? So you can go ahead and flip your little key, but just just know that you lost all your extra ember because of my sweet plays. Of course, you could get it by killing my creatures, but let's not let's not dwell on that. <laughs> not happy about that. Uh, you're up. All right. Um, I will declare the faction we have not heard yet. It's called Saurion. Oh, oh, Saurians. Okay, tell us yeah, about them. Brand new. I'm going to bring out your old pal, the Legionary Trainer. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. They make a token creature. Yeah, so that's exhausted, but the token creature is not, thanks to its ability. Token creature interest play ready. Mm-hmm. Um... <laughs> Then I am going to, uh, let's reap, let's reap a doodle do with, okay. with this one. So I gain an ember. You do. Taking the lead. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Uh, Look and, at that. And after reap, I draw a card. Yep. Draw a card. Uh, and then I will... Um, play a card you have never played, Symposium. Oh, tell us about what Symposium yeah, is. Yeah, so you yeah. exalt, I will exalt, ready, and use a friendly creature. Mm -hmm. So the exalt, I will not do. The ready, doesn't matter. Well, well I have you to. You have to. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. So I'll take that back. That's the whole idea. The exalting here yeah, is yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, the yeah, downside yeah, of yeah, this yeah. powerful card. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Oh, oh. You're, not, you're not doing the token first? I will do, uh, no, because I want to use Bumpsy. But it doesn't Symposium say if, if it's a token, then you can repeat this, basically? Yep. Then again, it's at the cost of exalting it, so you still might not want to, but... I don't, because I think you'll be able to kill a one power. I don't see any way that's possible, to be honest. <laughs> it would be a struggle, but yeah. I could... You're crafty. 
Uh, I so am we'll, known for my craftiness. We'll leave it at old Bumpsy Boo. Okay. And then we will have him hit uh, the the chow because he's got taunt, so he has to. Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty solid for you. Um, so your 10 power takes out Chow. Uh, right. Chow did have plus 2, so you're going to take six, four. 6 damage back. Four, Wait, six? 4 plus 2, because oh, my point creatures at, have plus yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you get the Ember that was on her? Her. I don't know what the gender of Chow the Safeguard is. Them. Yeah. They. Uh, okay, that's exhausting. Get that the hell out of here. And then, I think that goes into the discard. Mm -hmm. And then I shall do no more. Okay. I'm going to go with a Star Alliance. Want to remind everyone I'm in the lead. You are in the lead for now. It's probably not important. It's definitely going to end here. Because check this action out. All right. To. I have... Photon Blast. Oh, gosh. An action that says uh, deal two damage to a creature with one splash. So I'm going to do two damage to Bumpsy and deal one damage to each adjacent creature is what splash oh. means. That'll take out your token. Oh. So you can get that out of here. But wait, there's more. This goes on the bottom. If this damage destroys one or more creatures, make a token. So I get a oh. token. And that's my 5-2. What kind of card is that? I'll tell you what kind of card it is. Yeah. It's a card that I have more than one of. You are kidding me. I'm going to do it again. Oh and my gosh. two damage will kill Bumpsy, and the one slash will kill your legionary trainer. Hell yeah. Oh, I forgot that had, that had uh, Ember on it. Uh, and it's just if, if I destroy one or more creatures, I make a token. So I will ugh, make that token. And I have... As I move my row a little bit, I have Scout Chief Corrigier. Uh, after play, fight, or reap, make a token creature. So you don't want to keep making token. token. You don't want to keep making token creatures. I don't see why I would not make token creatures. I'm sure the day will come where you will wish you had not made so many token creatures. I mean, there there are cards that are like if your opponent has five or more creatures, destroy them all. So Boom. just play one of those, you'll be fine. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you. Okay. I look forward to it. The last, uh, the last thing I'm going to do is I have a Star Alliance card in my hand that that uh, is kind of a board wipe, and I don't really see the use for that in the short term, so I'm going to discard it. And that's my turn. So you are still technically winning. You have one more Ember than me. Huzzah. Just, just saying. In You're doing great. Your keep, face. keep it up. Um, we've decided that when a token creature leaves play, it just goes away. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it goes to the bottom of your deck. So, what we theoretically, did. if something said I had it, you had to put it on top of your, on, on top of your deck, it would just disappear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, theoretically. Theoretically, theoretically. Um... Hmm. This card seems bad. Three, oh, three or lower. Yeah, okay. You're looking at power three or lower? My tokens are five. Yeah. I know you know that, but I just like saying it. I do. And you have how many tokens? Three. Three? Let's destroy all of them. What? Yeah! What is this card? This is Hypoxia. I'm declaring unfathomable. Okay. Hypoxia says play, destroy each token creature. I told you there would be a day. And it gives you an ember. And it gives me an ember. And I get the draw card. Oh, yeah, it's enhanced too. Jeez. Well, that was rude. Felt good though. I bet. Uh so there's that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and then uh then let's play Adult Swim. <laughs> that's, says, that's a good put, name for an underwater card. <laughs> put each creature with power three or lower on top of its owner's deck in a random order. So that's just my scout chief? That's just the scout chief. Alright, it's on top of my deck in a random order. And I get a number. Increasing my name. That's a, that was a pretty good turn for you, actually. 
And then I will discard this card. I want to show it to you though, because there's no chance I'm going to get it out. It's so awesome. It is Teweki Kraken. Whoa. 12 power, but sure. to play them, I have to exhaust two friendly, unfathomable creatures. Oh, yeah, that does seem like... Uh, or he destroys himself. Difficult to do. Yeah. And then his after fight and after reap, he deals two damage to a creature with two splash. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a good card. <laughs> Very high requirement. Keep mouth. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Okay. And then I will draw up to six. Here we go. I want to play, get this, Saurian. This is unlike you. Highly unorthodox, I know. Um, I will play Praetor Marius, five power dinosaur, and politician. Yeah. It says after reap for each exhausted creature for, uh, to Praetor Marius' left, capture an ember. Yeah. And then I'm going to next play a Praetor Marius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, this one is enhanced with an ember, so I'll take that. Interesting. And the last thing I'll do is reap with Faust the Great. Your turn. Hmm. Um, let's see here. You crying over there? <laughs> What's yeah, yeah, this is, this is gonna <clears throat> do nicely. I'm going to declare mm -hmm. Brobnar. Ooh, okay. You have another Bumpsy? Oh, wow. I'll tell you what, this Unfathomable Guild is uh, pretty cool. Yeah? Yeah, I do like it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's actually... Let's 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 think about that move I just declared. Did you declare something yet? Yeah. Well, I declared Brabnar, but now. I'm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now I'm rethinking that because I was like, maybe I should look at the cards I just drew. Turns out. Turns out they're good. They're decent. Um. Yeah. Let's. Yeah. Let's let's declare Unfathomable again. Oh. Okay. And let's play the card Dragnet. Okay. <laughs> says return a creature and each neighbor that shares a house with it to their owner's hands. Yeah. 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 Rude. That is a very that is a straight up rude card. And I gain a number. You sure do. And then um question for you rules expert here. Yeah, that's me. Uh, do you get the captured or the it was from Exalt, but do you get the Ember on here when it returns to my hand? Ooh, that's a great question. I would I mean, I would imagine when it leaves play, but... I, yeah, I would too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Didn't see that. Love that that just happened. Check. Turns on over, though. But I don't have that. That was, a, that was a pretty good card in that situation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I will play the Skullback Crab creature. He's a beast. He has poison. As Ooh. an action, he can steal one. Uh, Ember. Ember. And so Point. that's different from capture. That just takes it from my side of the table and puts it on your side of the table. Oh, wow. That's very good. Okay. Uh, so Poison says, any damage dealt by this creature during a fight destroys the damaged creature. My gosh. Yeah. What yeah. A, what a crafty little bugger. Very, very crafty. Uh, is that... Are you quite through? No, I'm quite through. Okay. Well, at least I have a nine-card hand. Um, I... <clears throat> I realize this isn't going to buy me much time, but I think I'll do it anyway. Here we go. I'm gonna go Star Alliance. Okay. And play Scout Chief Corrigier, which creates a token. So that's a nice 5 2 Saurian. Here goes this thing. And then I'm going to. Oh, wait. The Skullback Crab can't get through the two armor on my Sarian. Yeah, it's damage. Yeah, okay, so that's what I'm going to upgrade with Echo Reflector. <clears throat> I'm going to upgrade uh, the um, the Bellatorian Warrior, that's my token, to, uh, uh, so I get an Ember when I play this, and this is an upgrade that says your opponent's keys cost three more Ember, which means you no longer can afford to forge a key on your turn. Speaking of your turn... Uncheck. Your turn. Uncheck. 
And remember that thanks to my wall, these do both have plus two power for what that's worth. Okay. It doesn't really help if you return them to my hand for the third time, but it does help if you try to damage them or something. And I'm thinking about it. Yeah. That seems rude. Damaging my creatures? Uh, hate Scout Chief Corriger. Like, really? Hate him. I, ha I have pretty positive feelings about him. Hate him so much, in fact, that I'm going to go ahead and declare unfathomable. And just, to, just to pinch him with your crab? As an action. Now, when I, I can still attack, does the action No, because the action exhausts it. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah. Okay, that's a bummer, but it's still going to do it. Going to pinch him. Okay. He's pinched. It's too... Your tokens are too good. They are very good. And they I have not yet drawn training costs, so there's been no downside to them. <laughs> they cannot go unchecked. Um, and then with my last card I'll play, I'll do Initiation. It says, play, make a token creature. If I have fewer than four cards, this gets archived. I don't. Mm, okay. Um, but I will make a little... A little scholar. A little scholar. So cute. He's exhausted. That's my turn. He comes back up. Okay. Oh, yeah. I should have readied my... Warrior also. Okay. Um, I haven't drawn any new cards because my hand was still at seven after last turn. So I will... I'll go Saurian. Okay. And I'm not afraid of your scholar. What? I'm just gonna... He's so smart. I'm gonna do some reaping. He's so smart. I know. Um, I'm gonna play things to its right. Like Faust the Great, opponent's keys cost plus one for each friendly creature with Ember on it. I guess, uh, sure. Then when I play it, I can exalt a friendly creature. Yeah, this is us uh, because of the because of the uh, Hadroth hey Wall giving it plus two. It's a seven with two armor. I think it. I think the, that Ember is safe there, and it's increasing your cost to, to forge keys. Wait, that has two armor? Yes, my token has two armor. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying. It's really good. Oh, that's so annoying. It's a good token. And then I'm going to play Praetor Marius and also Praetor Marius. You may yeah. remember them. Yeah, I do. The, the Marius twins. I do, I do. And their whole thing was... Uh, also, this one gives me an ember when I play it. So after uh, reap... After reap, they capture an ember for each exhausted creature to their left. So my right... So my my to, right. to my left, your right. My right, yeah. okay. So I, had, I had to think about that. I was like, if it's my left, it's each. your... So it's all the way to the left, or, or just the one neighbor? Uh, no, all the way to the left. So, so after, uh, it, if I were to like reap with everything from my left to right, like yeah. this, this would reap for one, this would reap for one, this would reap for one, but then there, it would uh, capture, two. capture two, and this would reap capture for one three. and capture three. Yeah, so you would just yeah. drain me of all my... Yeah, you can get it back, you just have to destroy my dinosaurs. They go on the... Well, capturing doesn't go into your reserves, they just go... It goes onto the cards, just okay. like exalting, yeah. Got it, got it. Until you play the card that pulls them all off, got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. that's totally in my deck. Don't play coy with me. <laughs> uh, that will end my turn, and over to you. You still can't forge a key because your cost to forge keys is now 10, so... Oh my gosh. Go ahead. I just like to say, rude. Yeah. So, so rude. Okay, I will. My to my token is Saurion. It is. So then I will. I wonder. So do you, I? Don't, I don't think I pointed this out to you when refreshing you on the game. Mm -hmm. um, did you notice that the art of your token is also on the back of your cards? I did see that. And then I wonder if the so on both of our cards the Saurian icon that's like overlapping with oh, it yeah. is oh, yeah. is touching that art. I wonder if that's actually indicative of it being Saurian. It's, be. it's probably it, it's so it. that's smart design. Very good. Very good. But again, they didn't is the teach us those rules, so <laughs> how would you know? <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> uh, is the token mechanic the like new major thing in this expansion? I think so. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It is interesting. I mean that and the um what's the other faction? Isn't there I think there's a faction that neither of us has that's brand new. Oh. Okay. In this one. Alright, I'm gonna declare I'm gonna declare 
Saurion. Okay, novel. Yeah, I know. What, what a risky pick. And I will play uh, my own Faust the Great. Wow, all right. You're yeah. going to exalt that token? Yeah. Uh, I actually am not. That would be so stupid. You could exalt it. It could exalt itself, <laughs> too. I think. That I'm tempted to do. You're so close, but you could just blast it. Yeah. You could just blast and it. And I would. Yeah. Let me do this another way. <laughs> okay. I'm going to play Paraguardian. Whoa, what's that? He is a six power, one armor, uh, dinosaur, soldier. Sure, yeah. After Reap, I may exalt him. If I do, I can ward each of its neighbors. Whoa. So, pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, now I will play Faust the Great. Ah. He will exalt Paraguardian. It says, I may exalt a friendly creature. So, uh, sure. Do I take that take that from here, right? Yep. Boom. Uh, and then I will reap mm -hmm. with Scholar, gaining an ember. And drawing a card. Okay. Is the one I can play. Oh, baby. It, oh, it is? Because uh, drawing a card is much weaker in this game than most card games because there's like a one in three chance that it, it, you can turn around and play it. And this time it worked out. Wow. What you got? This is a cool one. This is a new card. Yeah. It's an action. It's called Epic Poem. <laughs> That's a good, good name for a play. Sorry, an action. Exalt friendly creature. I will exalt the Paraguardian again. Sure. Gain one ember for each ember on that creature. Whoa! You're gaining two ember here? Gain two ember. Seems good. Check. Check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I need you ten. cost ten currently. Yeah. That is so annoying. And you probably don't want, if you can avoid it, you probably don't want to pay ten. You want to get the cost down. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I know. But I'm having a hard time figuring out how to break through your two armor and five health. Uh, seven with the seven, wall. That was, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can see how that would be frustrating for you. Yeah. <laughs> Working on it. Not currently able. Uh, and I think that's my turn. Okay. There we go. Then, even though my hand is mostly Sanctum, I kind of think I go sorry and again. That's what all my creatures are. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. How can I not do the cool <laughs> thing? Which is as follows. So I'm not playing any cards at all this turn. I am just going to reap with my warrior. Yeah, this is going to be bad for me. I'll reap with Faust the Great. Yeah, this is awful for me. I'll reap with Praetor Marius, and after that reap, he captures one for each exhausted creature to his left. So he captures two. And then I will reap with his twin, taking three. Bring it on. <laughs> I love that just happened. Uh, yeah, I'm not playing a single card from my hand. I don't want to discard this. Uh, no. Your turn. Okay. Boys are, the boys are back in town. They are. I'm going to declare Brobnar. Whoa. Yeah. Even though all your creatures are sorry? Um... <laughs> Mr. Trench in the chat says, geez, Brandon, I thought they got rid of the torture faction. There was a torture faction. Was there? Yeah, so, well, the demon faction. But oh. They were rude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. This, though, this is just diplomacy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, there's some ember exchanging hands, whether you want it to or not. <laughs> um, yeah, you bring up a good point, and I, I appreciate pointing that out to me. Uh... Sting. I'm still going to declare Brabnar. Uh, here's why. I'm going to play this artifact, Ancient Battleground. Ooh. It says each friendly creature cannot reap. I'm going to move that up into where the camera can see it. There you go. Carry on. Each friendly creature cannot reap, and it, and they gain, after fight, gain one. Uh, oh, they get ember. ember by fighting. Right. You're too, you, you woke up today and chose violence. I chose violence. <laughs> okay. And, and thought, that's just a, that's an artifact. That's that's uh, until further notice. This is the case. And if you thought that was choosing violence, <laughs> what do you see this card? This is called Rant and Rive. Okay. Play. 
If your opponent has eight or more ember, they lose half their ember, rounding down. What? <laughs> yeah. But I have nine ember. Oh no, that's that's over eight. That is over eight. That's over eight. I think I even forgot to say check. Is this what I get? Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I lose half of it round. So the amount that I lose is rounding down. So yeah. I'll lose four. Rounding down the loss. Yeah. So four. Ugh. But I was gonna afford to key with that ember. Oh, I was worried about that. Okay. <sighs> Alright. Uh, and then I will play... And did you get an ember for the icon on that card? I didn't. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. You're, he's gonna steal it. I'm not afraid of it, because you still need 10... No, no wait, wait, sorry. Uh, the cost for you is up to 12, since I have two more cards with ember on them. Good lord. Uh, and then I will play the Rowdy Scald. He is just a 4 power, no armor creature. Sure. Yeah, with an enhance on there. That would be why uh, there's ember on so many of your, your things. And then finally, <clears throat> and this one is annoying, uh, Berserker Slam, so I gain an ember. Okay. Uh, it says when I play, I deal four damage to a flank creature. If this damage destroys that creature, the controller loses one mm. ember. I'm going to choose to flank him, even though it's going to only do two damage. That's right. Um, so that's, that's the annoying part, but i got to do something to that thing. Yeah, I guess you do. Okay. And that's my turn. Brabnar out. It was an alright turn. Uh, Papa's getting low on his deck. Uh, you just shuffle your discard pile and go again. I was gonna ask. Yep. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't see how I can't just make this impossible for you if I can. Well, hmm. Mm. Don't think you need to do that. Yeah, I probably just go Saurian again. I probably just ignore the fact that you stole my ember and I just get more ember. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna Saurian again. Again, I'm not gonna play any cards. Okay. <laughs> so uh, actually, maybe I'll maybe I'll play a card. We'll see. I'll probably play it. But first, I'm going to reap with my warrior. Reap with Faust. Reap with Marius, no. who is going to capture two more embers. No. <laughs> and Reap with this Marius, who is going to capture three more of your ember. I have a total of 11 ember captured. If you can, like, destroy this and... Uh, if you can, like, board wipe or something, then you'll be back to six costs and you'll have 12 ember. <laughs> so, like... You win the game. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't take much to see you winning the game here. That said, I'm pretty happy about how... That worked out. Far, it's looking like you are from that. I'll just go ahead and play Pale into Insignificant. You're not going to take half my Ember again, right? It's fine if I just gain more Ember. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, pale into Insignificance. This gains me an Ember. And says, uh, destroy each creature with the lowest power. So the lowest power would be one. It's just going to knock out your token. That's all this does. Well, that's, that's not a just. That's... Yeah. I, what I was hoping... I, 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 I sat on this last turn even though I was soaring because I was hoping you would like generate a couple more of those and then I could be like, they're all dead. Oh, oh, uh, but that, very clever. That isn't what happened. So very clever. I'm going to fill up my hand and pass the turn. <clears throat> okay. Bring it on. Can oh, and, 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 and. Yes, 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 yes. Check. Good call. I was about to flip the table and say, I win. <laughs> you, is, that, you, is that part of it? If you forget to say check, you not only lose, was but that your, not opponent, the, your opponent flips the table? Was that not in the rules? I thought I remember reading that. I could be wrong. I, I'm not married to that one. Wow. That's a really good card. Uh, yeah, but you probably don't want to play that house. Probably. I probably don't. Well, that's good. That's it. It's a really good card. Um, <laughs> yeah. Let's... Fart, man. Farty fart. Farty do fart, fart, fart. I'm going to declare Sarion. Okay. And I will have the Paraguardian 
attack the token creature that is just giving me hell. So that's still not going to kill it, right? It's going to do four damage after the two armor, and it has seven power because of the wall. Oh, keep reading about the damn wall. If you attack it with both your Saurians, you can take it out. But just yeah. wanted to, to make sure you knew it wasn't Does trade. Armor, armor doesn't regenerate until the next turn. So if I it does. It, I believe it does subtract from all every single source of damage. Oh, it does. Well, then yeah. this would. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't. So that like this would land four damage, leaving it at one remaining health. Yeah. And then Faust could finish it off. But you would trade both of them into it. Sure. Sure. Um. That said, probably do it. I don't see why not. I have to get that upgrade off the board. It's it's murdering me. So I will attack with both. And because I will attack with both, I will gain two Amber. Uh, they have to survive the fight, since that's an after-fight ability. Oh. Which, since this has seven power, I don't they, think either one will. They're not going to. Yeah. All right, so... Yeah, I'm not sure I think that Ancient Battleground card is very good. For what I just learned, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I... It depends on... I can see how it goes well with Brobnar. But less good with the Saurians. They, they, even though they're dinosaurs and tend to have decent power, uh, mm -hmm. they like to reap. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I dare say, not to no. assume that I'm going to win. No. But I think that my deck might be better than your deck. What? <laughs> it's possible. The Brandon deck? The Brandon deck is actually feeling pretty good to me. You think it's better than Fruit Pick? <laughs> it's, I'm not saying it has a better name. You got a lot of nerve. Pal. I know I argued earlier that I had a better name, but I'm really coming around on Fruit Pick. Every time you say it, I laugh a little harder. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> All right, so are we exchanging here? Uh, yeah, if that's what you're doing, then yeah. uh, you're going to lose both of them. Yeah. I will lose this. You're going to get the ember that was captured by mine, and I'll get the ember that was captured by yours. Great. And my token is at last defeated, and my echo reflector is... Off the table. I still have Faust the Great, so I'm still adding two to your key cost. That said, anything else on your turn? Yeah. I will... Uh, next... Uh, make a token creature. Okay. That's a recruit. Is that... Wait, what is it? There's recruit. more text on there. What does that do? Hey, it's, oh, sorry. If I had exalted a friendly creature this turn, I could archive this. I didn't. Oh, okay. I didn't, so I won't. Uh, and then that will be it. Okay. Then... My turn. I will forge a key. Yeah, I think you... I think you will. And I already have the six. I need to forge my next key. So you are on thin ice, my friend. Yeah, I'm feeling it. <clears throat> and my hand is all Sanctum, I'm showing the camera, but I think that the Saurians are just working for me. So I am going to... Hmm. Hmm. I don't need the... Tur I don't need all these. I don't need them. I don't want them. I'm going to attack your Rowdy Scald with, with Faust. Mm. They both have four power, so they'll both die. Okay. No, don't you have plus two from the Oh wall? shoot, yes. I mean I guess that's in theory that's even better for me, except I actually was trying to kill it so that Hadrian's wall was buffing both of mine that had all your ember on them. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> that was actually the plan was nice like, try. I don't care about the cost of your keys as long as I can protect all this ember. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll stick with that plan, but that's a great point that he takes four damage and does not die. Uh, and then these Praetors can reap, so this one will reap, I'll gain an ember, and it will capture one of yours. And this one will reap to gain an ember, and it would capture two, but you only have the one. Oh. So, yeah, I have these two dinosaurs that are holding seven and five. <laughs> Enough ember for you to have one. <laughs> Very annoyed. <laughs> that's very funny for me only. Only for you. <laughs> and uh, that's my turn. I'm not playing any cards. Go ahead. Can, can I not destroy the shit out of an artifact? I really wish I had that card. <clears throat> oh, my wall? Yeah. Yeah, I could see how that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, are, there are plenty of cards in Keyforge that destroy artifacts. So basically, so. I have to... I have to 
stop you from crafting a key or the game is over. Correct. Yes, I have you in checkmate check. Yeah, you sure do. Um, I guess I was like, what do they... What, how do you differentiate in chess from the ones where you're about to win and the ones you're not? But never mind. <laughs> that was a stupid question. This one. You'll figure it out. In this one, there's two two checks before you're actually going to win. But now we're on the now we're on the real check. Yeah, don't think I can do it. Uh, I will show you the awesome card I was talking about, though. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, y Jarl Sven. So if I declare Brobnar, Jarl okay. Sven, he deals two damage. Uh, oh, that could kill Faust. But I guess that doesn't do you much good. It doesn't do me good. No. Sure, for the heck of it, let's kill Taos. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's, a, it's enhanced for that damage, right? Yeah. And so then it says after an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Crossvend, which isn't what this counts as, uh, make a token creature. So every time oh, yeah. he fights, he can just make token creatures. That's pretty good. Can I like it recruit is, that into my deck? That's uh, what I was thinking. I was yeah. like, dude, that would be amazing with yours. Uh, I have a lot of Titans. Turn them into twelve. Uh, then wow. I have. And that gives you an ember. Here you go. Thanks. Mm -hmm. can take that later. Uh, then I have Press Gang. It says make a token creature. So I'll show that later. But it should, shouldn't creature. matter much. Mm -hmm. uh, if an enemy creature was destroyed this turn, I can archive Press Gang. So that would go huh. into my separate archive deck. That seems to be like a recurring... Uh, has an enemy creature been destroyed this turn? Didn't yeah. I just kill him with his thing? Oh, you did. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I just didn't actually resolve it. You ignore the uh, rules. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then, lastly, I would have done Pound, deal two damage to a creature with one splash damage. Okay, so do do two and one to these. That's not a bad turn. No, just not the turn I needed to. Doesn't doesn't save you. Stop your forging. Yeah. So you're passing the turn. Yeah. I forge a key. Oh damn it! I win. Who could have The good guys won. No, 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 no. They stole. Captured. That's right. Temporary. That is the word. You're gonna eventually maybe get them back. Uh, yeah, my deck felt really good. Yeah. Those tokens are super strong, even though you had a board wipe for the time that I had like multiple of them. Yeah, if um, I had known that was gonna be such a problem, maybe I would have held on to them, but at the same time, you had so many, you probably would have ended the game sooner, so maybe I wouldn't have held on to them. Yeah. No, you probably did the right thing playing yeah. when you did. Yeah. And then, yeah, this token is crazy. I mean, it's just a 5-2. It doesn't have text, but it's crazy powerful. This is the card that's in here because this is my token. Training cost. Right. Training cost cannot be discarded from your hand except through card abilities. And then on play, lose to Ember if you do not shuffle training cost into your deck. Um, yeah. So that uh, is, a, is a significant... It's not an insignificant downside, but it seems well worth it to me. I would and also, if you, can, if you can just uh, win the game before you draw it, there's no downside. <laughs> and that's what that's what just happened. I did not draw this card. Yeah, I'm wondering how I blew through my deck. Uh, you were playing more cards than me. I just had so many turns where I had uh, stuff was sticking. I, I had, yeah, I, I I stuck things to the board and then just chose the house usually Saurian because that's what all my creatures were. And I wasn't. I was. I had three or four turns where I did not play a single card from my hand. Yeah. And uh, then since you can't even discard them if they're not your house, you're, that just meant. Yeah, I, I wasn't drawing my deck. This I, this was absolutely this wrecked me. This was absolutely absurd. I think, was this like the only... No, I also played that uh, that one taunt creature. I barely played any Sanctum, and yet Sanctum was a huge part of why Couldn't, I ran away with this game. I, was, and it would just never go away, so everything just kept staying strong. It, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I, I have a card in my hand that uh, it actually doesn't destroy artifacts. It returns all artifacts to owner's hands. Oh my gosh. But that would be a way to get this you know off the table, at least temporarily, yeah. if you had a similar card. Briefly. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this was that, this was great. That was very good. Good this game. Was, yeah, good game. Th thank you for playing. Of um, course. Maybe you want to do we can open a new pair of decks and do one more. Sure. It'll be it'll be a different video on the channel. But sure. uh, if you're watching this live on stream, then keep the stream going. We'll, we'll do that in. Maybe we'll put up the be right back for a couple minutes and then then get back to it. Um, Let's do it. I should really do this up front because people have already closed the video by now. The game is over. No. Uh, but like and subscribe. Why not? Oh, why haven't they? What does it hurt? Yeah. Uh, if you're watching the stream, hit the like button so that YouTube uh, tells more people we're likable and that they might like us. It's, it's, it'd be lying, but we'd still appreciate if it claimed that. Like you've never lied before. Come on. Right. Right. Why well, again? Uh, yeah. And if you subscribe to the channel, that is uh, really the single best way to support the channel. Because um, that helps us grow, which helps us 
get, or uh, that doesn't help us grow. That is the definition of us growing. It's growing. Yeah, yeah, we grow. That if you click the subscribe button, the channel grows by You've one. You've grown the channel. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, it's it's cool to grow. Then then uh, more people find us, but also more people uh, send us previews and, and that kind of cool stuff to do on the channel. We have one coming. We, we do. We Spoiler. Will. I'm not going to say what it is, because it's coming from France, and I have like 60% confidence that it will get through customs and all that kind of stuff before the game just comes out. Did but you try to blackmail the publisher via email? There was no blackmail involved. That was good of you. They they emailed me. That's, that's been going I'm around. happy to say. That's been going around. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah. for you. Yeah. Gold star. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> no, very little blackmail. Definitely. <laughs> Some. Definitely, little, definitely less little. extortion than we could be doing. <laughs> <laughs> that is the optimal play promise. <laughs> what a guarantee. <laughs> so, <laughs> stick around and join us for uh, more Keyforge and also tons of other games on the channel. Uh, until then, be optimal. That's for you. Yeah, make eye contact and say, say bye or something. Be optimal. <laughs> Perfect, no notes. <laughs>